Let's make this text reveal transition and after effects. First, let's create a comp. Here's my settings if you want to copy. Enter the text you want. Make sure to choose high text font. Let me adjust the text. Precompose the text, duplicate it, and hide the second layer. Take the rectangular shape tool and mask the top layer first. Do the same for the second layer too, just mask the bottom part. Now if we zoom in we can see a line. To fix it just go inside mask and set the mask expansion to 1 or 2 pixels. Now it's fix. Before we do anything take the anchor point tool and keep the anchor point like this on top. Do the same for the second layer too. This time put the anchor point at bottom. Now keyframe the scale and let's try to scale it. Mm, it's not working as we anticipated. But why though? Oh, we made a mistake here. First, let's reset the scale and turn the clock off. Now unlink this little chain and add a keyframe. Go few frames forward and scale down to zero. Now it is working. For the second clip, do the same step. Unlink the chain first and then scale it. After that select all keyframes and press F9 to easy ease it. Now add the second text which is going to be revealed. Select the color you want, align it in middle. After that unlink the scale and keyframe it, let's scale it. Oops I forgot to align the anchor point. Yes, now it's working hee hee. Be sure to easy ease it though. Turn the motion blur on. Okay, it is looking good, but let's add some space between the letters. Let's adjust this a little bit. Now we have something like this. Looks good and it's smooth too, but we can make it better. Select all the layers and pre-compose it. Now add an effect called Deep Glow. If you don't have it, you can use Normal Glow or Sapphire Glow. Let's turn the exposure a little bit down. After that add a new black solid layer and add an effect called Gradient Ramp and Copy Me.
After that add a second effect called Triton and change the color to black, white, black, and hide the solid layer. Now on the text layer add time displacement and put the FPS in 240 but remember more FPS more render time put this to zero. Set the layer to the solid and the source to effects and masks. Activate the clock in max displacement to add a keyframe. Few seconds forward and put the number to 1. And now you can see the effect, looks good. We can change the effect style of revealing the text, just change this first color to white, and we got something like zipper opening lookalike. Shift the third color to white and we get the same effect in opposite direction. Now look here, we can change the position of revealed by sliding these numbers at left or right. Nineteen twenty is the default setting for this effect. And if we change the color to something like this, we can get a different effect too, something like this. Okay, I am not pre-rendering all that, you get the idea. If you want to change the text you can do it easily, just go inside the layer, open this composition, and edit the text, same for the second text too, easily editable. Okay, the mask is covering a part of the text, let me adjust it. Now it's fixed, let's watch the preview. Hmm, nice. But, remember, when you edit a text or video in After Effects, you should use After Effects, and not a Soviet T-81,000 horsepower monoblock gas turbine engine with a 125mm 2A46 smoothbore gun. So that's it guys, if you love the tutorial make sure to like the video and comment what should I make a tutorial on next, by Mafaker.